Hello everyone, doing a quick test here today comparing the RTX 3090 Ti and my Jetson AGX uh, Thor from NVIDIA um, on the performance with local uh, LLMs. So basically what I'm going to do is just run a couple of verbose um, command line interface uh, prompts through Olama, get the results compare them, see what happens as we scale out. And so we have a prompt here that says, in 50 words, describe a day in a Roman villa, including food, including food, clothing, and a hidden artifact. Uh, we're using GPT OSS 20 billion parameter model. And of course, this is a reasoning model. So we're gonna have some thinking going on before we get our actual response, which is much longer than 50 words. And here we have our results. I'm going to do a screenshot and then post these afterwards. Still on the Windows machine, we're going to run the same prompt with uh, Llama 3.370B. So this is uh, a much higher um, 70 billion parameter model that's going to run slower on the 3090 Ti. Um, because the 3090 Ti only has 24 gigabytes of VRAM, uh, it has to rely on some of the system RAM in order to complete the inference um, because a 70 billion parameter model, which is 42 gigabytes in size, is a lot uh, slower. So here we can see the results there, much slower. On to the Jetson AGX Thor. And now for the NVIDIA Jetson AGX Thor, Let's use the same prompt with GPT OSS 20B running locally through the Olama command line interface. Same prompt. So again, we have our um, reasoning going through at a glance. It looks a little bit slower than the 3090 Ti on this 20 billion parameter model. Um, this could be, in fact, due to um, the fact that the AGX Thor is using unified RAM uh, that has a um, around three or four hundred uh, gigabyte per second um, data transfer. So here, if we look, we have our results. Now on to the 70B model. Okay, now for the Llama 3.370 billion parameter model on the Jetson AGX Thor. So I can see already that this is actually going a little bit quicker than the 3090 Ti, um, which may or may not be so surprising. We see our result there. Right, now we have our chart that's summarizing the results of the test between the GPT OSS 20B model and the Llama 70B model uh, with the 3090 Ti and the Jetson AGX Thor. So let's quickly break down the numbers, starting with the GPT OSS 20 billion parameter model. Both systems generated over 900 tokens, but the 3090 Ti took the clear lead here. It processed about 131 tokens per second, finishing in just 10.3 seconds. The Jetson AGX Thor, on the other hand, managed 32 tokens per second, no slouch, completing the run in 30.3 seconds, showing that the 3090 Ti's raw power still excels on smaller and mid-sized models. But... With the larger Llama 3 70 billion parameter model, we see some things that are a little different. Both systems produced about 65 tokens. There's no reasoning on this, on this particular model, so the tokens are going to be fewer, depending on the prompt. Um, but here, in this test, the results were totally flipped. The Thor finished in just 14.4 seconds, nearly twice as fast as the 3090 Ti, which took 26.8 seconds, meaning that the Thor reached 4.6 tokens per second versus 2.7 tokens per second on the 3090 Ti. 
Now, these are much smaller numbers compared to the smaller parameter model. But this inversion of results is interesting. So what's going on here? Even though the 3090 Ti has some impressive specs and more raw GPU cores, the Jackson AGX Thor is a purpose-built machine for AI at the edge. So it has dedicated AI processing units, extremely fast memory, specifically designed for running massive language models, transformer workloads, all that stuff. And while a general purpose GPU like the 3090 Ti excels in traditional graphics, Thor's specialized hardware removes bottlenecks for whatever reason, probably because of the capacity of its unified RAM, and handles higher parameter AI tasks with much greater efficiency. Now, two to the difference of two tokens per second might not seem like very much at that scale, but um, two scale, that's still twice as fast as the 3090 Ti. So, that's why when it comes to the biggest, most modern neural networks, the Thor can actually outperform a high-end desktop GPU, even in a much smaller power efficient form factor. So for the state of the art, high parameter models, dedicated AI hardware like the Thor isn't just competitive, it can actually outpace traditional GPUs.